Hallelujah. You got time to listen? Hallelujah. So this is the thing, folks. G hey, hey, don't touch my stuff, bro. Hey, watch out. Watch out, bro. My God. Watch out. If okay, you hit me, I'm going to knock you the fuck out, bro. That's just the way it's going to be. Hey, hey I'm just you must submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil. Hey. My God. Hey, don't, don't touch my stuff, bro. For real. Bro, for real. If, if you touch That's the second me, time, bro. My, my God. You go again, you you're me, going to jail, bro. No, you're going again. my God, call the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. No, I'm, call I'm showing call grace to you. I'm showing oh grace. God, I'm you showing ain't showing mercy, grace, bro. but if I'm you touch mercy, me again, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to knock you the fuck out in the name of Jesus. I'm saying, you touch my stuff okay? again, bro. I'm calling the cops. My God, because you're not listening. You're not listening, my God. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. As I was saying, folks, only Jesus Christ can save you from the wrath to come. Rock out, rock out. Amen, no law, no doubt. But keeping my soul, my one road is one way to really soar. To really find out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, book of Romans, chapter 5, starting at verse 18. Therefore, as by, by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation. Even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one, shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abound, grace did much more abound. That as the sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life of Jesus Christ our Lord. The Romans 6 says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know you not that so many of us that were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. And that like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Hallelujah. For if we were been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin, for he that is dead is free from sin. Hallelujah. So folks, the book of Romans is talking about how a believer gives his life to Christ. He is dead to sin. A true person, a true follower of Jesus Christ is dead to their sin. They don't continue in sin. They don't walk in sin. And there's many professing Christians out here, probably in Las Vegas, who say, hey, man, I believe in God. I love Jesus, man. But you don't actually believe in Jesus. You're not dead to sin. In the Bible, um, sin does not have dominion over the children of God. As a child of God, you should not be a slave to sin. As a child of God, you should not be a slave to sin. See, the Bible says through Jesus Christ, you are more than conquerors. So children of God are not walking in pornography. They're not walking in lust. They're not walking in uh, drunkenness. They're not walking in adultery and fornication. Because as a child of God, you should have killed that old man. As a child of God, you must kill that old person, that old man. See, when I used to live in sin, I used to go to clubs, be a club promoter, sleep around with girls and stuff. But that guy is buried. That's the old me. I have a new life in Jesus Christ. And when you have a new life in Jesus Christ, you don't continue in your same sinful ways. Jesus Christ did not die for you to continue getting drunk and watching pornography and cheating on your wife. Jesus Christ did not die a gruesome death for you to be rebellious and call yourself a child of God. See, God will redeem his name. A lot of you folks who use Jesus Christ's name 
as it has no power in it. You drag his name through the mud saying you're a Christian. I'm a Christian. I go to church. But your lifestyle is an abomination to God. Your lifestyle is filthy. It's disgusting. If God gave you a replay of your lifestyle, you'll look like an atheist. You'll look like a Satanist. But you call yourself a child of God, but you're not doing the works of a child of God. You're not living in holiness and righteousness. The Bible says you must crucify your flesh. See, your flesh, folks, is what has you out here chasing Las Vegas fun. Your flesh is why you're out here spending money on hookers and prostitutes and showgirls because you can't control your flesh. Your flesh controls you. Your sexual desires control you, but you have no self-control. See, you need the fruits of the Spirit when you're born again. A born-again Christian is led by the Spirit of God. A true child of God is not led by the flesh. And you folks, you're chasing the things of the world. That's going to pass away. All these water shows is not going to matter when you stand before God, I promise you. You can see water at home, but the gospel of Jesus Christ is the most important message of your existence. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the most important thing you need in life because all this stuff in this world is going to pass away. Everything in this world is going to pass away. Sin City is going to pass away. But the word of the Lord will endure forever. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ says my words will never pass away. And this is why you have the Word of God available to you. The Word of God is for your instruction, correction, and doctrine. So you can live a perfect life in Christ. So you're not deceived by doctrines of demons. You're not deceived by the cares of the world. Because many folks, you're trapped in the cares of the world. You're so stressed out about things that's not that internally important. You're stressed out about school. You're stressed out about bills and chasing girls and chasing guys. You're so stressed out about earthly things, but you don't care nothing about heaven. You care nothing about Jesus Christ. You care more about this silly earth than you care about Jesus Christ. Got to be born again, live in righteousness. The cares of this world will choke you out because you cannot focus on the things of the world and focus on Jesus Christ. You cannot be so uh, consumed with politics and drama and sports. And you have no mind about Jesus Christ. You're being deceived by earthly matters that have no importance to your soul. You have to wake up to righteousness and sin not. You have to awake from this strong delusion the world is putting you in. Everything out here in Las Vegas is here to distract you. Americans love entertainment. All this entertainment is doing you no good for your soul. All this entertainment is not getting you closer to Christ. This entertainment is feeding your addictions. Because a lot of you folks are addicted to sin. A lot of you folks are addicted to sin. You're addicted to sin. I hear you. I got to preach the gospel. Well, no, I need the gospel, man. I need the gospel. All right, I got to preach the gospel. Disrespectful when they came for the show to enjoy the show. To water, they need Jesus Christ, man. Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna preach the gospel, bro. You do what you do. All right. So, so, so disrespectful, my guy. Respect is respect. Okay, but if you came the with gospel. your family to enjoy the show and somebody is right. really just talking and you trying to right. enjoy the show, okay. how would you like that? If it was the gospel, how, I would how, love it. How would Jesus, if it was the gospel, if, if Jesus was here enjoying Jesus the show. Jesus don't care about this. If Jesus he doesn't was care. enjoying the show, you need with to repent, bro. Jesus, Jesus preached. The, the Jesus doing what family. I'm doing. Jesus doing what I'm doing. Jesus was enjoying the He's show. He's doing what I'm doing hey. right now. Jesus would do what I'm doing. If Jesus okay. had a family. He doesn't have a family. He did have a family. family. He did have a family. He would want the respect. He doesn't care about a stupid water my show, God, bro. It's water, God. bro. It's my water. God, you do care about to, Jesus. To, to no, that's actually water. That's not. That's I water, bro. My God, but but you, you don't, don't understand. This is more important than a water show. I do. I gotta preach the gospel. I'm not going to you. Hey, repent and come out of sin, folks. Jesus Christ is coming back. That's hate. Jesus Christ that's is coming devil, back bro. for a holy church bro, without like spot, that, that's, that's without demon. blemish. That's a demon. That's you must devil, be cleansed bro. from your sin, folks. With a good heart, don't because like that. living don't water, like that, the living water is what you need, folks. Jesus Christ says, if you come to him, you will never thirst again. See, the water of this world, you'll, be, you'll always be thirsty. But the living water that God gives, you will never thirst again. That's eternal life. 
With eternal life, you're satisfied in your soul, in your heart, in your mind. When God cleanses your mind from the filthiness, the insecurities, the hatefulness, Jesus Christ can cleanse you from this stuff, folks. But you have to accept them as Lord and Savior. You have to lay down your life for Christ. You have to lay down the cares of this world. Because the cares of this world will not get you closer to Christ, no. It will get you closer to the world. You'll be famous for the world. You'll be rich in the world, but you're not rich in Christ. A lot of folks, you're actually poor in the spiritual realm. You might have riches on the outside. You have nice clothes, nice shoes, right? But you still have depression. You still have anxiety. You still have insecurities because you don't have Christ. See, Christ, all the riches are in Jesus Christ. All love and joy and peace is in, is in Jesus. It's not in the things of the world. It's not in bars. It's not in silly entertainment in Las Vegas Strip. There's no love out here, folks. It's just death. See, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. When you live in sin, you're chasing death. My God. But chase you eternal life God. in Christ. You can't be disrespectful, chase eternal bro. life in you, Jesus God. Christ. You can't but only be Jesus Christ can give you eternal my life. My God, you can't only be Jesus can give you God. eternal God. life, folks. My God. Because my Jesus God. Christ my is coming God. back for a my holy God. church. My God. My God. When I was I can get on my court. My God, my God, my God, my God. Just don't be disrespectful, my God. You can preach the word. So Jesus is coming my back. God. You must be right, man. You must if be you ready to meet to Jesus. Face to face, I'm not talking to you, bro. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Yeah, I'm done with you. Yeah, yeah. How Christly I'm done. is this? I'm done. I'm done. How Christly is so, your folks, you must be born again. How Christly is your actions, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke every evil spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke every evil spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I rebuke every evil spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, I bind every evil spirit right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I send fire against every evil spirit right now in Jesus Christ. I rebuke every Spirit evil spirit is evil, my God. This is Even what happens. You speak, Demons. You see what I mean? Demons don't like speak, the gospel. No, my God. It's Demons not about don't the gospel. want you to hear the it's gospel. Askings, but the God. gospel will my be God. preached. Because hear salvation, salvation is in the you name of Jesus are Christ. An evil spirit, my Nobody God. will hinder the That's gospel the of Jesus God. Christ. And you don't know what you're speaking. No cameraman, no you one's going to hinder speaking, the God. gospel of Jesus Christ. Because demons hate the gospel. Oh, demons, demons hate the gospel attention. of Jesus Christ. Demons, want attention demons That's don't what you want. want you to be That's saved, you folks. But you. Jesus That's Christ has come to save you, folks. But you must come to the gospel of Jesus Christ. You must repent and be born again. You must be born again, folks. You must have a spiritual birth from above. You must be born from above. Every born again Christian. I'm not talking to you, bro. You're done. I'm done. What does it mean to be born again? You're done, bro. What does it mean to be born again, my God? What does that mean? You're done. You're done. What does that mean? So Jesus Christ is coming back. What does that mean? Are you prepared to meet the Lord? Are you prepared to meet the Lord, man? That's evil. You have to you gotta repent. That's a demon, my God. You gotta repent. You just want attention? Because if you don't repent of your sins, folks, God will send you to hell. That's the devil. Yeah, God can, will send you to hell if you don't repent from you your sins. Want somebody to respect you must be born again. Like you want to be respected. Because only one that name under heaven, given a much men, you can be That's saved. Demon. It's the name oh, of Jesus devil, Christ. Bro. You're not saved by Buddha. You're not saved by you. Allah. But you're still here, though. So someone's listening, right? Oh, God, <laughs> you're oh, listening, so you right? So this is the you thing, folks. You're not saved by Allah. You're not saved by Buddha. You're not saved by Muhammad. You're saved by the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus the Christ, the anointed God, one, the quiet, Messiah. About, the Messiah is the no person who saves you. About, if you call upon the name of Jesus about. Christ, you will be saved, folks. Demons don't want you to hear the name of Jesus Christ, but the gospel will be no, spread no, out here. You will have an option for salvation. You will have a chance to be saved from this wicked world. You don't, have, you don't have to be bound in sin. You don't have to live in sin. For themselves. No, Jesus is God. He's your creator, man. You got to repent from him. He's coming back. Jesus Christ is your creator. Jesus Christ is your Messiah. He's your Messiah. He died for you. But you must live for him. Since he died for you, you must live for him. He didn't die for you to do what you want. That's not what Jesus died for. Jesus paid a high price for your soul. It was his royal blood, his price. It was a high price to redeem you folks. The cross of Jesus Christ is very serious. The cross of Jesus has power. The power of the cross. You need resurrection power. You need that power to resurrect you from your dead lifestyle. A lot of you folks, you're dead. You're still walking. You're a walking dead person. You walk in depression. You walk in anxiety. You walk in suicide. You're dead. But you must be born again. You must have spiritual life in Christ.
You have it? You must have a spiritual life that's, that's in Jesus Christ. That's what you and Jesus Christ is offering the gospel because he, will, he loves you. This world does not care for you, folks. This world does not care about you. Society is, is lying to you. No, you Society is lying to you, yourself. folks. That's why you must be yourself. born again. Society does not want you to be saved. Society says, do what you want. Live it up. God loves you. Do what you want. God doesn't care about your sin. God doesn't care about you watching porn because he loves you so much. God is merciful. Do what you want. That's the punk God America loves, right? See, folks, God is not a sissy. God is a king. He's the king of kings and lord of lords. Exactly. And that's why you must bow people. down to him. The Bible, people, says, the Bible says every knee will bow and every tongue will confess Jesus Christ is Lord. All of us are going to bow down to Jesus. All of us. I decided to do it now in my life. I knew I was a sinner. I knew I needed Christ. Going to clubs, sleeping around with girls and people's wives. I thought I was all that. People gave me props and stuff. People thought I was all that. But when I came to Christ, I realized I was wretched. I realized I was a sinner. I realized I was going to hell. I was going to hell and nobody was warning me. All the Christians I knew never warned me of hell. They took me to church. They fed me coffee and donuts, but they never told me about my sin. It would lead me to hell. What type of love is that? What type of Christian does it warn people of hell? What type of Christian let people go to hell? Already living in hell, That's not right, folks. As a child of God, you have a mission on this earth to warn souls of the wrath of God. Because the Bible says all have sinned and fall short from the glory of God. All of us have sinned and fall short from the glory of God. So all of us need a savior. All of us need a savior. It is only one savior. There's only one God, only one Father. It's, it's, the, it's the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is the only name that can save you, people. This is why people hate the name of Jesus. This is why people are trying to ban the Bible. People want to ban the Bible because the Bible is the word of God. And Jesus is the word of God manifested in the flesh. So the word was manifested. He walked among us. We beheld his glory. And Jesus Christ did miracles. He raised the dead. He healed the sick. He casted out demons. And they mean? still oh crucified God. him. They it, still what, crucified what him. Mean? What does it mean? Anybody and the Bible says, the Bible Anybody says, men reject shit, the light. What does it mean? Men reject mean? the light because they love mean? darkness. What does it mean? What does it they mean? love darkness what does more it mean? than light. That's why they crucified Jesus. Mean, they killed the Christ because mankind. Because mankind loves their sin. People love Las Vegas more than heaven. People care more about their sexual life than they care about serving God. And the Bible says in the last days, there'll be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. And that's a, that's a shame. That's pathetic. People love their sexual life more than a life of serving God, of sacrifice and honor. Because there's no honor living in sin. There's no honor living for your sexual desires. That's not honorable in the eyes of God. But America is a nation of abominations and whoredoms. And this nation promotes immorality like it's cool. You know, OnlyFans, porn stars, showgirls, half-naked guys. All this stuff is not in heaven. There's no Las Vegas Strip in heaven. There's no naked people in heaven. Angels aren't even naked. No one's naked in heaven. So why are we naked here on earth? Do you think you can be butt naked on earth and go to heaven? Absolutely not. See, right now, you must be clothed in righteousness. When you come to Jesus Christ, his blood covers you in his righteousness. We cannot have self-righteousness. See, the Pharisees had self-righteousness, and that's why they killed Jesus. So we're not saved by our own righteousness. No, we're saved by the righteousness of Jesus Christ. That's why we put our faith in Jesus Christ. We don't put our faith in ourselves. A lot of folks, you say, hey, man, I don't believe in God, but I'm a good person. I donate. I, go to, I do this and that. I don't believe in Jesus, though. Yeah, these people are on their way to hell, too, because you cannot work your way to hell. I mean, to heaven. You cannot work your way to heaven. You cannot say, God, I don't care about you. I don't care about your son dying for me, but I, I don't need a couple times here on earth, so let me go to heaven. That's how most Americans think. That's how you think, folks. You think that you do a couple good things. God is okay with you. Even though you watch porn, you get drunk, you cuss out preachers, you look at girls half naked, and you think you're going to heaven. This is delusion. You're under a delusion. And Satan wants you in this delusion. But as a preacher, I love you enough. I'm telling you the truth to wake you up. 
because you have to wake up from this matrix. You got to wake up from all this immorality. You're stuck in my sin. God. The Bible says my he God. who sins is a slave my to God. sin. If you can't take a I don't want listen, you to be a slave. Stuff, I want you. Don't do that, bro. Don't go to jail. Don't go to jail, bro. Don't go to jail. I ain't going to go to jail. No, no, you're going to jail. You're, you're being disrespectful. If you touch my stuff, I'm trying to have a conversation with you. I want you. So you can respect. So this is the thing, folks. So you can respect my God. Hey, this is the, this is that demons trying to stop the gospel. God, when you I'm preach the to, gospel, have demons happen. You. Demons I'm come to, have a to stop the gospel, man but they won't. Listen. Hey, can you All you want to do is excuse talk. Me. Excuse me. All you want to do hey, is talk. Hey, you're my court. Excuse me. You're my court, bro. All you want to do is talk. Hey, can you get on my court, please? My God, can you listen for a second? Can you listen? Can you listen? You ain't got time to listen. Hallelujah. So this is the thing, folks. Gee, hey, hey, don't touch my stuff, bro. Hey, watch out. Watch out, bro. My God. Watch out. If you hit me, I'ma knock you the fuck out, bro. That's just the way it's gonna be. Hey, I'm hey, just asking you for a to, second. You want to go to jail, my bro? Guy, you ain't no going to jail out here, No, my you're, you're going to jail. No, my guy. I've been out here for years. I know how this I, shit I don't go. Care how long you don't know how this shit go. I want 10 seconds to talk to you. No, so you bro. You fucking listen. No. But you don't want to fucking listen. No, no. Why you don't want to listen? I'm not talking to you, bro. Why you don't want to listen? Because you're Why you don't take a second, watch out, watch out. second to listen? Why? A Christy person don't want to take a second to listen to another man? Hey, watch out, bro. Watch out. A Christy person. So this is the thing, folks. Only Jesus Christ can save you from the wrath to come. A Christy person can't take a second to listen, bro. I'm not talking you're supposed to, you, to Hey, listen, you're supposed to treat people how you want to be treated. Now, if you want people to listen to you, how the fuck you not going to listen to somebody else? I don't care if they listen. Oh, you don't care. You don't care if they listen. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. you don't have to listen. But that's crazy. Hallelujah. On, Thank bro. you, Jesus. Come on, bro. Your actions, bro. You got to change your fucking actions, bro. Hallelujah. You're Thank you, Jesus. Gospel, you're talking all this stuff, but you're not walking the walk. You a Thank you, Jesus. Bro. Hallelujah. That's Hallelujah. A Let's go. That's a hypocrite, bro. Let's go. You're talking to talk, but you ain't living it yourself. Thank and you, it's Jesus. in your actions, bro. Hey, thank you, it's Jesus. It's in your actions. Thank you, Jesus. Look how you are. So yeah, only Jesus, Jesus Christ can save you from the wrath to talk to you and tell you something. Only Jesus can save you, folks. There's nothing Jesus in this world can save you. Jesus is trying to talk to you. God is trying to talk to you. He's not talking to you, bro. Me. He's not. No, Through absolutely me. not. So how God <laughs> give you a message? Not, bro. How God is going to give you a message? You're cussing and stuff. How God is going to give you a message if he ain't going to give it through you through somebody? How else God is going to speak, bro? How else? How else? Come on, bro. And all I'm asking you was to respect oh, when people are trying to enjoy this shit. So, folks, Give only Jesus second, Christ bro. can save you from the wrath to come. No. Look, folks, demon, without, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. Some of these demons don't care. If there's no shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. Demons, no like no like sins. So, Jesus Christ shed his blood on the cross to cleanse you from your spiritual disease of sin. So, folks, you, sin is a disease. Sin is a disease, folks. It's a disease. And you must come to Christ to save you from that disease. You must have the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse you from this disease that's called sin. So, the blood of Jesus Christ gives you life. Do you want eternal life, folks? Do you want eternal life? Or do you want a temporary life of pleasures that fade away? But the life of Jesus Christ is everlasting and never fades. So what are you living for in this life? What are you living for in this life? Are you living for the glory of God or the glory of men? Do you want the praises? Do you want God to say, well done, that good and faithful servant? Or do you care about the world saying, oh, you're so cool, I like you, man. You're my favorite artist. You're my favorite rapper. You're my favorite whatever. The praises of men are vain in the eyes of God. A lot of you folks, you love the validation from men but you don't care about pleasing God. And that's the wrong place. Amen. You must live for him though. You must Why be you born again. You, you must be born you again. People, and that's what Why matters. You what you, you care you about is chasing, you trying to bro? please the Lord. The Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. You cannot please God with your lack of faith in him. And you can't say you love God and live in sin. God bless you, brother. And you can't say you have faith in God, but you don't live for God. See, folks, you're walk, you have to walk the walk. You just can't talk the talk. No, you Everyone don't. does that. A lot of people just talk the talk. What are you doing? A lot of people what say, I love Christ. What are you doing? If but you don't live for Christ. If you can't respect you somebody, have to live for Christ. If you can't you respect somebody, for Christ. bro, when you want respect, this is what you're not walking the walk. You're a hypocrite, bro. Excuse me, man. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. you want respect, excuse but you ain't giving respect, bro. This is the thing, folks. This is why you must be born again. So what is that? You gotta be born what again, folks. Only that, one name you're saved by the name of Jesus. What is, that? what is it? Only in the name of what Jesus it, Christ you can be saved. What is it? Only in the name of Jesus what? Christ what you can it? be saved. You can't answer because Only in the blood of Jesus can save you, correct. folks. Only Christ can save you from the wrath to come. Because there is wrath upon the children of disobedience. 
Children of God, don't disobey God. Children of God, obey if him. Respect, you must obey the Lord. Show, you have to obey the Lord Jesus you're not Christ. Being obedient, bro. You must obey the Lord Jesus Christ. That's how you see, that's how you show that you love him. Jesus Christ says in John 14, 15, if you love me, you keep my commandments. So if you love God, you have to obey God. Not obey the laws. It's not about being obedient to man. Who cares about what man wants? It's about what God wants. God wants you to obey him, serve him. Mankind says, don't obey God, man. He's not real. He's fake. Do what you want. You only have one life, YOLO. That's what mankind says. But God says, no, come to me. All your heavy burden, heavy laden, and I'll give you rest for your soul. See, a lot of you folks, your souls need rest. Your souls need peace. You your souls no, need God, love. Because if your soul God. is not at God, rest, folks, nothing will be okay on the outside. Because you cannot cover up your shame. You cannot cover up your guilt with makeup and money, folks. You cannot cover up your problems with money. You cannot cover up all your trauma with pain. You can't cover up your pain with money and vacations and sex and drugs is not gonna work. Stop running away from your problems and deal with your problems with Christ. My God. Face your problems with Jesus. My God. My God. Face your problems God. with Jesus Christ My God. head on. My God. The Bible My says, God. submit yourselves My to God. God. Resist the devil God. and he will flee from you. Else? You must submit you yourselves to else? God. Can you move you must else? submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil. Hey. My God. Hey, don't, don't touch my stuff, bro. For no. real. For if, real. If you That's the second me, time, bro. My, my God. You go if again, you you're me, going to jail, bro. No, you're going again. my God. Call the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. No, I'm, call I'm showing grace to you. I'm showing grace. I'm showing mercy, bro. But if you touch me again, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to knock you the fuck out in the name of Jesus. I'm saying, you touch my stuff okay? again, bro. I'm calling the cops. Because you're not listening. You're not listening, my guy. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. As I was saying, folks, only Jesus Christ can save you from the wrath to come. But you must be born again. You have to live for him. You just can't say amen, hallelujah, no, and continue in sin. You can't speak the you word can't be like and that, respect folks. somebody else, bro. You must be born again. Because the Bible says love people. covers all sins. The Bible says oh, love so covers a multitude love of doing? sins. Is this love because what you're doing? Is this without love, what you're doing? love, God would not have got on the cross. Without love, no, what do we have, folks? Without love, what do we have? Do we just have science? Is it just science we have? Is it just human wisdom? Just no, talk, we're down here for love, you folks. You need the love of Christ inside you your heart. Been heard your entire life, you need the love of Christ inside your soul. You need the love of Christ, folks. And only the love of Christ, only the love of Christ can change your life, folks. Jesus Christ can change your life. When you're born again, he changes you from the inside out, folks. He changes you. You can be changed by the blood of Jesus. This is good news. You can be changed. You can be a former alcoholic, former porn watcher, former abuser, whatever you are. It can be buried in baptism. If you've risen a new life in Jesus Christ, this world says you can't change. The world says you're born this way, right? The world says, hey, I'm born this way, man. No, Jesus Christ says, no, he can change you. God is a carpenter. That means he's a builder. God can build you into a man of God, into a woman of God. It doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. But you, let, you must let God, you must let God continue in the process. A lot of you folks, you started the process, then you stopped it. A lot of you folks, you let God start on you, but then you left for a girl, for a guy, for Las Vegas life, whatever. You stopped God. You didn't let God work in you no more. You said, God, I love you, but I got better things to do. I got to get this money, Jesus. Our girl, our Jesus, our, people think Jesus will always be there. That's not true. God will not always be there. God is patient. He's long suffering, but God will not be mocked. You cannot play with God. He's not a side chick. He's not a side guy. He's not a toy you just play with. So God is patient. God is reaching out for you. But God will sometimes shut the door because that's enough. Enough is enough sometimes, folks. God is warning you years after years to tell you come out of sin because he loves you. But there's a time where God will give you over to a reprobate mind. He will give you over to a reprobate mind. And many people right now in America, many people in America, you have a reprobate mind. That's why many people are falling into addictions and homosexuality and perversion and drag queens because God gave them over to a reprobate mind. And that's a sad place to be. But Jesus Christ can renew your mind. The Bible says in Romans, 
You must read the word of God. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. Jesus Christ can cleanse your mind. See, without Jesus Christ, I used to watch porn. I used to think all about me. I used to show off my body on Instagram. I was egotistical. I had pride in my heart. But when Jesus Christ came into my heart, he cleansed my mind, he cleansed my soul. And I don't live for me, I live for God. I serve Christ. I love my neighbors. I want my neighbors to go to heaven. I want to see all of you in heaven. I want, to, I want to see all of you in heaven. Will it happen? Probably not. But real love, the Bible says charity. Charity is love and action. Charity is love and action. I'm out here giving the gospel because my love for you is being put in action. Because many people in the church say, I love you, God loves you. But they never tell you about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many people in the church say, hey, I care about you. But they never step out the church. See, the church should go to the darkest places. The church does not stay in the church. The church goes out into the world and spread the good news of Jesus Christ. That's how the church is spread. The church is spread. How you doing, sir? Praise the Lord, man. Got a question? Got a question? Yeah, what's your name? Troy. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good, bless. Yeah. Any question? You believe in Jesus? Huh? Oh, uh, wait, what did you say? I'm Christian. You're Christian? Are you born again? Born again? Born again, yeah. So Jesus says in John 3 3, you must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. You know what that means? If you don't, I can just explain it to you. I don't know. I'm trying to. It's okay, it's fine, but uh, it's all about communication. Okay? All about communication. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you hear, uh, 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 how long can you hear? What was that? How long can you hear? Uh, so as the Lord leads, man, to the Lord says go. So I don't have the time period. So, so you say, you say you're a Christian, but you don't know if you're born again. So I, I can explain it to you. So, so born again means Jesus, you're, you're, you're born from above, man. You're, you're, you, you, you be led by the spirit of God when you're born again. So for now, I'm to be born be... again is to go from the low, the demon, the devil, the narcissistic <laughs> things. You get what I'm saying? To go to the loving things, to no, respect another person the way you yeah, want to be nah. respected. That's what it means to be born again. Uh, yeah. Get off the demon and the devil. Do you want to? You want a gospel track? You want a gospel track? You can't talk to this guy. He just want to talk. He just want to talk. You don't know no meaning. He just want to talk. I say believe in gospel, man. We gotta repent. I believe in God. I'm Christian. You have to live for Him, man. A lot of people. I agree. The Bible says. Demons yeah, believe in God and they tremble. So true. even Satan believes in God, he's not going to heaven, bro. So you have to have a lifestyle that matches the lifestyle of Jesus Christ. So you have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. So when, so when I say you was born again, you didn't, you didn't know. So do you, like, how often do you read your Bible? Like, I, I often. Uh, I'm gonna lie to you. Not often. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not here to condemn you, bro. I'm not here to just uh, beat you oh, yeah, up. Yeah. I'm here to just encourage you, bro. Just um, follow that's the Lord. True, that's true, no, Increase in the agree. Lord, man. Yeah. But right now, I'm trying to make, make some, some money bucks, to feed man. our family. Some bucks. And this Christly guy <laughs> okay. can't understand no, that. Agree, that. This Christly guy agree. can't understand that. He can't respect it. <laughs> and look, I respect that. But for now, I'm trying to make some bucks. All right, I'm not stopping you, bro. Christ, I'm not stopping you, bro. I'm not stopping you, bro. You came to me, bro. You, uh, you came to that? me, so I'm not no, trying to stop you. No, I'm not stopping you. No, no, but your access no, is killing no. the vibe, but we can't no, answer right now, people. I respect what you're doing, okay? I'm not going to be like a between you and. It's not my job to do that. You be you, be your thing, okay? And I respect that, okay? But if you're not like a. But for now, I'm trying to work. Okay. It's okay, it's fine. You can work, bro. I'm gonna stop you from working. But I'm not gonna leave, though, bro. I'm not gonna no, stop being no, no. the gospel. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. We're good. I'm hey, we're good. That. I'm not saying hey, do you want a gospel track, bro? It's just a gospel track. Just like a little gospel card, real quick, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro. Just a gospel track, man. You can just take it, read it, read it on your own, bro. When you get home, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, thank you. Hey, thank you for. I appreciate that, bro. Hey, what, what's your name? What's, what's your name, bro? William. William. Hey, I'm Troy, bro. Hey, you need. I, I pray for you, bro. When I get home, I pray for you. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. Praise the Lord. Anybody can read. Anybody can regard. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But nobody can. You can't understand, my guy, what you're reading. All you're doing is regurgitating, bro. Yeah, actually shows that you're not Christly, because you can't respect other people. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, folks. Hallelujah. Today is a good day to be saved. Hallelujah. It's today is a good day. The Bible says the day for Maybe salvation is now. The Bible says the day for salvation is now. It's not tomorrow. It's not next week. It's, it's now, because you don't know when you're going to die. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. 
You're not guaranteed next you week. See, this is why you, you must fear the Lord. You to take a this break, is why you must fear listening. the Lord. See, the Bible says the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. You might keep cutting off because oh, it's time you. for you to take a break and chill, my so God. This, so this is but why, you folks, listen. you must humble yourself and give your life to Christ. See, the Bible says God gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. Hallelujah. God gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. A lot of you folks, you have pride inside your heart, and that's why you reject the gospel. That's why you hate the preacher, because you have pride inside your heart. And that's what and, you're uh, doing. And pride you is pride what uh, Satan That's why you heaven. can't respect, bro. And this is why, that's why folks, you, keep rebuking, you must humble you yourself. you got pride in your heart, your life bro. To Christ. Exactly what you're saying you is exactly yourself. what's in your actions. See, see the Bible so says you, are being you must a have childlike faith. You must have childlike faith to enter to the kingdom of God. You got to have childlike faith. Folks, without childlike faith, you will not enter to the kingdom of God. A lot of you folks, you're too, like you're too smart for Christ. Like a, a lot of you, you folks, you're too smart for Jesus. Like a, a lot of you folks, you're too your gangster for Jesus. You can't respect somebody but else. you got to humble yourself you as yourself a little child exactly. and put your humble faith in Jesus Christ. Exactly and respect you must people, put your bro. faith in Christ as a little child. Don't be too intellectual. Don't be too gangster for God. No, you must you, be like a child. You must be a the child for Christ. Listen. So the humble yourself, folks. Ignorant. Humble yourself. The and can't come to Christ. Lay, can't lay down can't all your problems, folks. Respect. All your That's problems, you all your bro. sins. Lay it at the cross of Jesus. Hallelujah. You must lay it at the cross of Jesus. Because the cross is what saves you, folks. It's the cross is that what saves you. It's not a knowledge of God. But the you cross must live signified for God. high consciousness you and must low live consciousness. For God. High and consciousness only Jesus and Christ can save you. Your actions from are very demon and devil source. Only low. Jesus can save you. It's cross, in your actions, it's in your thoughts, it's Thank in your thoughts. Thank you, feelings. Jesus. It's how you express yourself. Only my Jesus God. Christ it's how you express can save you. And Christ is coming your back. Actions is are you prepared to meet your God? Are you prepared to meet your God, folks? Are you prepared to meet your God? Because only Jesus Christ, only Christ can give you eternal life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. They ask you for his respect and they don't change their actions because the people that are preaching and shit are just talking. It's not in their actions, bro. Change it. Put it in your actions and people will listen to you. People will follow you, bro. You get what I'm saying? I seen you around the city, plenty of places. You get what I'm saying? But in your actions, in the way you don't interact or try to understand or whatever the case may be, this is what makes people repel you. That's all I'm saying. Respect the person, give respect, and the respect is going to come. People are going to be more open to listen to you. But it's a time and a place for everything, my guy. That's all that I'm fucking saying. I'm not trying to disrespect you. I'm not saying nothing. We out here trying to work to feed our family. No, no, Miracle God ain't going to come and drop money in my pocket. He ain't going to come drop money in his pocket. Why you think the hell he's out here? Why you think we out here? Just give respect, bro. Give us a second. No, I ain't saying don't talk. You can talk, my bad, but just give us a second. That's all praise I'm God. Saying. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. God. Maybe God wants you to listen. That's why God told you to take a break. So, folks, First Corinthians six nine. Yeah. Starting at, I start at nine. Now, know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you are washed, but you are sanctified, but you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. So, so the Bible, so, so the, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So the Bible talks about in 1 Corinthians. Hey, my God, what trauma did you go through, bro? Because the, the way you, you got all this animosity, all this anger that built you up. You should not be deceived. It's anger and hate, bro. You should not be it's deceived. It's built up. It's built up. You can, you. The what unrighteous. Happened you? What happened to The you, unrighteous will not trauma, inherit the kingdom you, of God, God. That you can't listen to somebody else. But all the sins you huh? was, folks. What trauma to you Adulterers. You, you can be a former adulterer. Talk to me. Effeminate as homosexuals. You can be washed in the blood of Jesus. You can be washed. You must be born again. You must walk in holiness and righteousness. Teach your kids the laws of God. Teach your kids the laws of God. Teach your woman the laws of God. Teach your woman modesty and honor. Teach your, teach your man how to fear God. Because this is a generation of men who don't fear God. 
It's a generation of men who don't fear God. People have more fear of the government and COVID before God, and that's that's a shame. That's terrifying. That's, that's horrible. Men fear men over God. See, Bible says, don't fear him that can destroy the body, but fear him that can destroy both body and soul in hell. You should fear God over man. You should fear the wrath of God over the pains of man. The pains of man are gonna last up to eternity. The word of God is gonna endure forever. The word of God is what's gonna endure forever. So who cares about what Trump says or Biden or some weird politician? What is God saying to you? What is God saying? Is God speaking to you folks? A lot of you folks, God is speaking to you, but you're not listening. God is speaking, but you're not listening. Exactly. God is speaking. The Bible says God commands men everywhere to repent. Exactly. Have you repented of your sins? Have you repented? Because God is He's speaking. Are you listening? Are you obeying? Got a question now? He is king. And he's coming back for his sheep. And the Bible says, Jesus Christ says, My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Jesus Christ says, My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. So if you're following the shepherd, are you obeying the shepherd? A lot of you folks, you're the lost sheep. You're the one lost sheep who went from the flock because so you, you wanted to fit in so with the world. So a lot of you lost. folks, you, lost, you, you left lost, God to fit in with the world for fame and money and clout. A lot of you folks, you said, what, what you forget doing? God. What, what I got to make money. I got to do all this stuff. But you're not listening, my guy. No, the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God in his righteousness and all things will be added on to you. That's Matthew 6, 33. When you, when you go back so, and listen folks, to the recording, you, you maybe must, you will hear yourself. You must, you must seek the kingdom of God first. You don't seek money first over God. You don't seek girls first over God. You seek God first. You, 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 you seek Jesus first. You seek attention first over God, You seek bro. Jesus you first. You are seeking attention first seek over first God, Seek first the bro. kingdom of God. All you want is attention. And all things will be added on to you, folks. God will take care of you. God will bless you. God will take care of you. You take care of your family. He will take care of you. But you have to trust in him to take care of you, folks. A lot of you folks, you have not truly surrendered everything to Jesus. God is trying Just to take a little care things. of me by but having folks, me out here, you but, must you're, surrender but you're to blocking him. it, my God. Because only, only Jesus Christ and devils can block save you. you. Only demons and devils only block Jesus you. Christ and that's what you're doing. can protect you from it. the wrath to come. Because there is wrath blocking coming upon this nation. It. This is a nation that hates God. This is an anti-Christ nation. People hate the gospel. People hate Jesus. People love money more than Jesus Christ. People love their sex life more than Jesus Christ. People hate and it's sad. People, love attention more. people respect gangsters and prostitutes more than the street preacher. This is the generation. People have no fear of God. People have no fear of God. But on that day, if they die in their sins, they will regret living in sin. It would be better if they wasn't born. Like Judas. Judas betrayed Jesus. A lot of you folks, you're a Judas. You're betraying Jesus for money. You're betraying Jesus for a girlfriend that doesn't even love you. For a guy who's just using you for your body. You're betraying Jesus for something so temporal that has no eternal value. You're a Judas. Don't be a Judas. Be faithful to the end. Be, be faithful to the end. You must endure to the end. A lot of you folks are not enduring. See, the Bible says Christians will suffer persecution. The Bible does not say as a Christian, life's going to be all roses and candy. No. The Bible says as a Christian, you're going to suffer persecution. If they crucified Jesus, why would you get less? If they hated Jesus Christ, why would the world love you? See, the Bible says, Jesus says, if the world hated you, no one hated me first. So when you're a child of God, expect to be hated by the world. Expect for the world to persecute you and hate you and spit on you and mock you and want to kill you and stone you. That's what you sign up for as a child of God. You have to count the cost to be a child of God. It's not easy being a child of God. It's way easier being a drug, being a drug addict. It's way easier being a gangster, being a prostitute. That's way easier, but it's harder following Jesus Christ in a world that hates Christ. It's harder being holy in a world that's unholy. It's way easier not to respect Because the Bible says, the Bible says we know where the children of God and the whole world lies in darkness. The Bible says we know we are the children of God and the whole world lies in darkness. That means the whole world is turning its back against God. But there's a remnant of the children of light. 
There's a remnant of God's chosen in this world. And is that you, man? Is that you? Are you chosen? You got to come out the world. Are you chosen in this world to bear the cross? Jesus Christ says you must deny yourself and pick up your cross and follow him. You have to, you have to pick up your cross. Stop picking up bottles. Stop picking up all types of um, pornography and pick up your cross and follow Jesus. A lot of you folks, you do everything else except follow Jesus. You don't want to read your Bible. You don't want to pray. But you have enough time and energy to come to Las Vegas and go to clubs and go to brothels and take pictures with showgirls and have a blast while you're ignoring it Jesus Christ like jealousy, every single bro. day. What you're saying sounds like jealousy the and jealousy The Bible is a says sin. don't jealousy envy is sinners. A sin. Hallelujah. Jealousy is sin. Oh, they don't want jealous. somebody else enjoys. So only sound Jesus like Christ can give you like sin, peace bro. inside your soul, it folks. Like hate, but you're preaching. The Bible but says you don't envy do. sinners. It's, it sounds because like what you're preaching all sin, sinners bro. are miserable. Jealousy I used to sin. live a lifestyle. Jealousy is a sin. It's not a fun lifestyle. If you're talking about somebody else, it's not it sounds fun like you're jealous, lifestyle. my guy. Only mighty, peace mighty jealous. is finding Jesus Christ. Funny see, how with you Jesus Christ, you're satisfied. With Jesus Christ, you're fulfilled. In Christ, with Jesus Christ, on, you're bro. fulfilled. On, That's bro. why you must be born again. Because a lot of folks say they're Christian, they're Christian, you're Christian. Everybody's a Christian nowadays. Their grandma's a Christian, their dog's a Christian. Everybody's a Christian nowadays. But who's actually doing the will of God? Not many people. The Bible says, the, the Bible says, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. The Bible says the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. When so up, a lot of people show. need you the gospel, it, but there's it. only you few laborers. So this is why, folks, you must fear God and keep you his right commandments. Now, this is the whole duty of mankind is to fear God and keep bro. his commandments. If you love yourself, Christ, you must keep bro. God's commandments, folks. You can't say you love Christ and just do what you want. Exactly. This is why you must exactly. obey him, folks. You can't say you love Christ and do what you want, bro. You hear the words that are coming out of your mouth, Because only Jesus Christ, folks, can give mouth. you understanding, you folks. You hear the words that's coming out of your mouth. It's just a demon, folks. Don't worry about that. Yeah. It's just a demon. Don't you worry you about that. I mean? It's just a you demon. See what I mean? But you anyways, can, only Jesus, want, only bro. Jesus can give you peace. See, yeah, demons don't want you to hear the gospel, you folks. Demons don't want you to hear the gospel. But you're going to get the gospel because the love of God is being shown upon you, folks. The gospel is for your benefit. Jesus Christ died for you because he loves you. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. While we were sinners, while we were enemies of God, God still came down from his throne and died for us. That's how much your creator loves you. But do you love your creator? That's the real question. Do you love your creator? I'm not talking about Allah. I'm not talking about Buddha or Krishna. I'm talking about the Lord and Savior, Jesus my Christ. My God. Yeshua HaMashiach. My God. My God. It's Yahweh. It's all the same. Jehovah. God. If you go to another planet, there's only one God. Call God. There's only one Christ. God, and his name is Jesus Christ. Different. If you go to another there's planet, my God, God. If you go to another and planet, and his name is Jesus call Christ. Jesus Christ, God, by another name. So it's Jesus the way that it goes. is coming back. Everybody, everybody's culture, Jesus is coming back. Is just Are you prepared to meet the Lord? They're all saying the same Are you prepared to meet the Lord? That's the real question. Is your lifestyle honorable in the eyes of God? Heritage. The disrespect. Is your lifestyle disrespect? Holy else's and righteous culture in the eyes not of God. Christly, my guy. Because not only Christly, God man. can make someone holy. Only God can take someone in this nasty world and make them holy. Only the power of God can take a drug addict or a prostitute or a gangster and make them a man or woman of God. Mankind can't do that. No therapist can do that. No meditation of chakras can do that. And, and, Only the power of God a man can do that, to talk folks. Because there is power just say it. in the just gospel. Say it. Just say it. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ. The There's power in the name of Jesus. But do you have Jesus Christ? Do you know the power of his name? Have you submitted yourself to Christ yet? Or are you still on the fence, teeter-tottering? A lot of folks, you have not committed yourselves to Christ. 
you're saying things like, I'm still searching, man, or yeah, they're all the same. Is not in your action, See, the Bible God. says they're forever yourself, learning bro. and never com you coming to the knowledge of the truth. Just talking, my God. A lot of you folks, you're, just you're, talking. you're searching talk, for answers, talk, talk, but you have talk, not talk, come talk, talk, to talk, the talk. truth. It's not in your actions, my God. If you were Jesus crazy, Christ says in John 14, 6, I'm like the way, the truth, and the life. So Jesus Jesus says, I'm the way. I'm the truth. So are you following Jesus? Do you want the truth? That's a real question. Do you want the truth about life? I'm giving you the truth, my God. Because there's only one truth in his life. And Jesus Christ says, I am the truth. So either Jesus is telling the truth or he's lying. Every religion is not right. Every religion is not going to heaven. Only two people in this world, children of God, the children of the devil. Oh There's Christians and non-Christians. That's the only people that's in this world. Okay. Either you're a child so of God planet, or you're a child of the if devil. Planet, Either you're God, born again or you're not. I never heard of Jesus Christ. So I never heard of Christ. pick what I'm person you're going, going to, to be. I'm still going to are you going to be a child of God? Bro. Are you going to follow Christ bro. or are you going to follow this world? I'm just talking, I'm just talking bro. No Two people, no saints and bro. sinners. Gain some meaning, gain some but you can become a saint by the blood of Jesus Christ. You become a saint by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ washes away all sins. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses you from all sins. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord.